Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, version 91, is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 27th of May 2021, and I received my update this morning on the 28th. Now, this also means we have gone from version 90 to 91 in this latest release of the Edge browser. Now, as always, if you'd like to see if you have the update, just head over to the top right to the three dotted menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if you use Edge on a regular basis or as your main web browser, you will find that the update process will take place in the background automatically. And the latest version that you should be on is version 91.0.864.37. So that's what you need to be on to have the latest stable version of the Edge browser. Now, in Edge 91, Microsoft claims that there are numerous uh, performance improvements. And they also say that this is the fastest version of the browser to date on Windows 10. And that we can expect to see some more performance improvements rolling out later this year in the Edge browser. And also, this update, version 91 to Edge, also they also say that there have been numerous bugs that have been fixed, which is common for a feature update. Now, the performance improvements are mainly to do with the sleeping tabs and the startup boost. So if we just head over to the left under our settings menu and click on system, the startup boost and the sleeping tabs have um, received performance improvements. And, you know, the browser will launch in the background when you sign into your device and continue running when you close all browser windows. That's basically what startup boost does. And when you click on it, if you close your browser, what it basically does is just leaves a couple of um, uh, processes running. So when you reopen your browser or relaunch your browser, it will just do so a lot quicker. And then these sleeping tabs, you know, you can see uh, when this is on, inactive tabs will go to sleep after a specified time to save system resources. And then, you know, you can check from, you can make them go inactive from five minutes to, you know, right up to 12 hours. So you have a couple of options, but there have been improvements to the startup boost and the save resources with sleeping tabs. And as I mentioned, Microsoft claims that with these improvements, this is the fastest uh, version of the Microsoft Edge browser to date. And obviously, they are trying to take, Microsoft is trying to, you know, basically take on all the other Chromium um, web browsers like, you know, Google Chrome and trying to make this the fastest browser on Windows 10. Now, in Edge version 91, there are a couple of new features. And the first one is that there have been improvements to the PDF uh, reader mode. And Microsoft says that the improvements are to the text selection within the documents, your PDF. And after the update to version 91, they say that you can have a much more smoother experience when, you know, selecting texts using the cursor and the keyboard. And another little improvement to the uh, PDF uh, reader mode is that apparently scrolling now is a lot smoother as well in your PDF documents. And then another little um, update, feature update, is that um, support for APRs to enable better speech recognition commands on google.com and similar sites. That's what Microsoft has done. They have updated the support for speech recognition APRs, so that's good to know. And then another update, a feature update, is that is to do with Wiki, Wikipedia in the Wikipedia mode. Microsoft is enabling support for the immersive reader on Wikipedia, and this is basically to improve the overall experience and make the table of contents, you know, that you you see easy to navigate. And through the pages, and let me just demonstrate. I have Wikipedia open, and as you can see, Wikipedia, you know, is quite a cluttered website. And what you do now is you just go to the uh, Omnibox, the address bar, and you just click on Enter Immersive Reader. And what this does is it just cleans up everything for you and just pops things into you know more you, where your focus, your attention is more focused, and you can just click on the different categories. You know, instead of having it looking like this, you know, 
you just click on immersive reader and it basically just cleans up the whole experience for you when you are using Wikipedia. And then I would say the biggest new feature that has come to uh, Edge version 91 is you now have new theme colors. And if we just head over to our settings again and we go to appearance, you can see now we have a whole lot of new themes and you can have system default, light, dark, I'm going to stick with system default and then you can change the color of the theme of the browser. Now this is only with the uh, new tab page and I'm just going to Island Getaway. Let's see what happens and you can see it changes the whole theme of the um, Edge browser. And then there's another little option here where we can discover more themes and this just takes us to Microsoft Edge add-ons should be opening now and we can you know, obviously get some more themes so that's a nice little handy add-on to the stable version of Microsoft Edge where you are now able to change your themes as well and there's quite a lot to choose from here whichever you know color suits your own preference and I'm just going to go default again and keep it at system default and then another little update is that Edge now blocks Auto playing of your videos automatically. So there is now blocking of auto playing in video, which it won't, you know, it now blocks your videos automatically from auto playing, which is also good to know. And then just a small little cosmetic basically update is that at the bottom here, if you click on personalize, you now have the option discover interests, add interests to personalize your feed. And you can, you know, search for different uh, interests and, you know, go through entertainment, lifestyle. And what this will do is in the news and interests feed now, it will basically just update um, your news and interests feed. So whatever you, you decide to personalize in your discover interests, add interests to personalize your feed, the changes you make here now in Edge will appear in your news and interests feed as well. So that's what's new in Edge version 91. As I mentioned, a, you know, a, a, a couple of new features, some bug fixes, and then obviously um, those performance improvements that Microsoft claims now that Edge is the fastest browser on Windows 10. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.